Good afternoon and welcome to the Garden Kitchen. I'm Carenza and today we're making a green smoothie which is perfect for detoxing heavy metals out of the body and decalcifying the pineal gland. So, to start with, we're going to use pineapple as our base. So I use frozen pineapple because it's nice and easy and it keeps in the freezer. Uh, it's really, we're just discovering how brilliant pineapple is really. Uh, so bromelain is uh, an enzyme which is in pineapple, it's really great for anything cough, chesty, anything like that actually. And it's uh, been starting to be shown to reduce uh, tumour cells and malignant cells in your body as well, because it's really fantastic for anti-inflammatory. So that's a really great base. It's also real dense, heavy sweetness, so you can carry quite a lot of um, the other superfoods throughout the smoothie with it still tasting nice. So to that, we're going to add this. So this is just oat milk. Um, so but any kind of milk that you like, um, almond milk, hemp milk, whatever you like, um, just sort of it gives it nice denseness and carries the superfoods really well. So just a cupful, however much of a smoothie you want of that one. To that we're going to add a banana. So bananas are really high in potassium, fibre, they're really great. They also bind the smoothie together so it really helps carry again all these powders that you're going to put in there and just keep it really smooth and creamy. Ideally with a banana you want to wait till it's actually brown and it's got the brown spots on it because that means it's really ripe and the active compounds are then actually going to work in your body. So we'll pop that in there. To that we're going to add a nice handful of spinach. So spinach fantastic again really good for lots of fat soluble bioavailable vitamins in there vitamin a c really good for heart health and your eyes really brilliant so so this is the fiber portion and the base of our smoothie and to this we're going to add our hold hemp also known as hemp hearts so this is really rich in all kinds of goodness so it's got omega-3 6 9 it's actually a complete protein it's a complete fiber it's you really can't get enough of it really to be honest so every day it's good to be having some in your body so i would say a tablespoon but as i haven't got one of those i'm going to do four little teaspoons there it also has a kind of nutty um, flavour and it sort of just helps cream up the whole smoothie and make it really nice. And because of those powders that we're going to put in there, you kind of really need a lot of extra creaminess. So now we're going to add some maca. So maca's hormonal magic. It balances your whole hormone system. It's really good for reproductive health for both men and women. Good for balancing your mood, balancing your libido. Um, it's a it's a root from Peru actually, and it's it's we just it's gaining popularity because it is actually really really brilliant. It's got lots of micronutrients in there, which are really great. So we're going to put a teaspoon of that in. Then we're going to get a bit of bioavailable vitamin C. So this one is camu camu berry, but uh, rose hip works really well, or acerola cherry, something that your body can use really easily is what you need. So, and it's really easy to absorb. A lot of the vitamins, and minerals, and supplements that are sold are actually really difficult for our bodies to understand and recognize for what they are. But these are forms that your body instantly recognizes and can instantly use. And with vitamin C, you want to be getting a good quality vitamin C every day into your body because actually we can't create that in our bodies. So. We're going to go for a little teaspoon of camu camu berry in there. Next, I'm going to put some collagen in. So this is um, from the Garden of Life. It's a um, bovine, grass-fed bovine one, so it's not vegan. But you can get marine collagen as well. Collagen's really great for skin, hair, nails, joints, teeth. Um, and actually from the age of 30 we stop producing it in our body so it's important that we start adding that in after that age. As a child, I mean if you're making this for children or because my son still likes this green smoothie because it is sweet enough for him to like, I would, I would leave this out. But for us, it's perfect. So you want to get a nice teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of collagen in there, really, really helpful for the skin. Um, so now we've got our green powders we're going to add in. So we've got spirulina spirulina you can see it's kind of got this beautiful blue green color so it's also known as blue green algae um, and it's really chlor chlorophyll rich and what the magic that spirulina does not only is it really rich in iron magnesium um, but it actually binds together with the heavy metals and detoxes them out of your body safely so we're going to put a it's a strong flavor so we're not going to put too much we're going to put a sort of a gentle half 
teaspoon of spirulina in there. It's a beautiful rich colour and that chlorophyll is just so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? alkalizing for the body. Any of this green stuff really helps alkalize the body and we're naturally very acidic and we need to try and, you know, the way of our lifestyle now is quite acidic and actually that's what causes this stress on the body and it's really degenerative to the body. So this will all help just calm all the systems in your body down, just really nourish them. The next one we're gonna put in is chlorella. So this again is really chlorophyll rich. It's got that beautiful dark green color. This again will help take the heavy metals out, out of the body, but it also helps balance the blood sugar, which is really important because when you get those spikes, you also get those crashes. So this will help keep you nice and even and you won't suddenly feel tired or hungry later in the morning. Um, it also is really good for your blood pressure and your heart health, cardiovascular health. So it's a really good one to have on a regular basis. So this one again, I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. You know, you don't wanna to go too heavy with the greens. You can see how potent they are. They're really strong. So they do carry a flavor and you want it to be nice. So because there's really strong uh, flavors, you don't wanna to put too much in the smoothie because then they'll become not nice. And the thing is, a lot of people when they're detoxing, they don't, the, the idea of detoxing has become slightly warped in my opinion. What happens now is like, People eat really badly for 90% of the year and they go, no, I'm gonna do a detox in the new year. And that actually puts your body under way too much stress. You are far better to just drink two pints of water per day more than you do now uh, than put your body through the extra stress. And actually to be able to detox, um, your body has to be quite strong. And also if you, if you suddenly bring on this mad detox, the, the body doesn't have anywhere to take all the toxins that get released and they don't know how to get rid of it. So that's why you start feeling bad. So in order to stop that from happening, what you really wanna do is build up your body, fill it with nutrients, and then it can naturally just let go of the things that aren't serving it anymore. And that's a far healthier, healthier safer way of detoxing. So this, if you can uh, you know, get this into your diet, so you, you even had it four times a month, you know, that would be great. It'd be a great asset to your health as you move forward. So the next one we have is uh, barley grass powder. So this, um, again, it's just gonna carry out those toxins for the body. It binds to the toxins, the heavy metals that are in your body, and it carries them out as well as all the free radicals. So this is a really powerful, brilliant healer as well. And because, again, it's a, such a lighter color, you can get away with more of this in the smoothie. So I would put sort of three quarters of a teaspoon rather than just a half in there. So again, we're gonna have go for a bit of a healthy fat. So I'm using coconut oil again. It's got such a bad rep, fats, but they really are healthy. We need them in our bodies, we need them in our diets. This is great for weight loss, it's great for your cardiovascular health, your teeth, your hair, your nails, really helpful. So because it's gone liquid, normally it's a solid, because in my kitchen it's uh, not quite so warm, I would put a teaspoon. So I'm gonna guess a teaspoon of liquid being about like that and then just rub that on the skin you know skincare as well perfect and for the final um, powder I'm gonna put in is this protein powder so it's just a really good one that I found that's vegan gluten-free dairy-free has no you know lactose or whey in it so many of the proteins are such poor quality so really do your research this one actually has 44 superfoods in it so I do really like it it's from the garden of life um, uh, you know, it's all sprouted things which I wouldn't want to eat. I don't want to eat like a bowl full of broccoli sprouts or something. <laughs> but you know, this works just as well. So I'm gonna put three quarters of a scoop in there. And now we're gonna blend it up. And see how it goes. Super. So nice and creamy, nice and smooth is where we want it. Here we go. So this is just a really wet, really great way of just supporting your body and getting those nutrients that we really find it hard to avoid now in our modern life. Um, so it's just a way of really helping manage that and, and support your body because your body knows, your body is wise and it will do what you need to do if you just get out of its own way. So this is a great way of supporting it. I hope you enjoy, I hope you 
feel a bit more confident playing around with smoothies and recognize them for the great way to just get maximum nutrition in your body. So let me know if you like the recipe below and give a little comment and hopefully I will catch you again. So, you know, live well, be free and be healthy. Bye. <laughs>